One thing I hear often from clients and from other fempreneurs is how lonely it can be as a solopreneur. You tend to spend a lot of time alone. You're both the decision maker and the leader with no one to talk it over with. It's a lot of pressure for one person. Being an entrepreneur is staggeringly different from when you work in an office or a corporate setting where you're constantly being held accountable by your superiors and the people around you. You can't get distracted or put things off when you're working on someone else's deadline. There's not the same sense of pressure and motivation as a sol solopreneur. And I know a lot of women whose businesses have failed to flourish because they lacked the discipline and motivation to keep pushing themselves towards their goals. They didn't have anyone to push them when they were feeling lazy or to celebrate their wins with them or to relate to their unique challenges as an entrepreneur. So how do you stop yourself from becoming lazy and unmotivated or simply disillusioned? You need to find an accountability partner. That's at least a good first step. An accountability partner is one person, or if you want more than one person, um, who you ask to help you keep track of your progress and push you to keep moving forward when your motivation is low. They make sure you're accountable for your actions and a good accountability partnership, you do the same for them. It should be an equal give and take between you and the development of a genuine friendship with both of you pushing the other to work better and harder. There are so many benefits to having an accountability partner. They're someone who can help you brainstorm, uh, bounce ideas off, identify your weaknesses and vet any new ideas you may have. And they also offer much needed emotional support. And if you develop a good relationship, there'll be someone that pushes you to work harder, celebrates your win, offers feedback and understands your struggle as a small business owner. So you can see why accountability partners are so beneficial to entrepreneurs, especially stay at home entrepreneurs. They're almost like a secret weapon to success. So how do you choose your accountability partner is the real question. Well, you should be looking outside of your family and friends first of all. Choosing a family member or a close friend may seem like a good idea, but while they can offer you plenty of emotional support, they're probably not going to understand your motivations or push you when you really need it. Um, they're not entrepreneurs for the most part and they don't really understand that drive to make your own business a success. So look, there are three qualities your accountability partner needs to have. You need someone who is committed to listening to your goals and checking up with you regularly to make sure that you're actively working towards meeting them. You want someone with similar business ideals who's willing to set up a routine so that you don't lose touch. Um, someone who's brutally honest with you and is willing to hold you accountable when you don't meet your goals. You want someone who's going to tell it to you straight when you're being lazy. And if you need to up the ante and really put the pressure on each other to motivate yourselves. And you should sort of agree on some repercussions for not meeting your goals. For example, if you miss a deadline, you might have to pay them 50 bucks or admit that you didn't work hard enough on social media. <laughs> Make your repercussions things that will motivate you to work harder. Not shame you, just motivate you. Find someone who'll be your biggest cheerleader and who will celebrate every win and accomplishment with you. You need someone who's willing to tell it to you straight, but will also cheer you on when you need it and uh, you deserve it. If you're feeling vulnerable, they should lift you up, not tear you down. These three things are key to finding the right accountability partner. So remember them when you start your search. To find yourself an accountability partner, you're going to need to start networking and reaching out to other entrepreneurs. As a woman, I definitely suggest looking for another woman as your accountability partner. Female business owners struggle with a lot of issues that are unique to women and we also think quite differently to men. So it's better to have a woman who you can relate to, I find. You might also consider finding yourself a business coach. 
Business coaches are a lot like accountability partners in that they'll hold you accountable and guide you towards achieving your goals. They also offer valuable advice and insight as they have a lot of experience dealing with entrepreneurs and in many cases also run their own successful business. So again, I definitely suggest uh, finding yourself a female business coach as they understand the issues female business owners face. So at Fempire, we offer business coaching by women, specifically for women. So if you are looking for an accountability partner, one of our coaches may be perfect for you. You can find the link to Fempire's coaching services in the bio of this video. So if you're a fempreneur and uh, you're feeling a bit stressed and lonely at the moment, find yourself an accountability partner. You won't regret it. And if you wanted some more information about combating loneliness as an entrepreneur, you may like our Fempire magazine article, The Secret Struggles Faced by Female Entrepreneurs. You can find the link in the bio of this video. Or do you already have an accountability partner? Why not share the love and tag them in the comments below and thank them for all their support and help. I'll see you in the next time, ladies. Bye for now.